Hello my viewers and welcome to this exciting lesson once again. This time we want to look at the modeling of the 3D river within the continuous beam and this time we are going to use an extension that is called Naviate River Extension, okay? So as you can see that is the river that we are going to create. You can see the ad additional top river on top here. Even from there you see that we have the additional river even at the end. Now, once we finish the modeling of the river in 3D, we'll go ahead and, you know, detail, okay, so that we produce the details that you are seeing here. As you can see, again, we have the additional river on top there, on the edges, and also at the, in the middle of the, you know, this continuous beam, as you can see from here. Okay, so I just want to ask you if you like what I'm doing on this channel, you are going to encourage me if you make sure that you subscribe to this channel and don't, don't just subscribe, make sure that you like each and every video that you watch. And for those who are interested, check the links in the description. I have some courses in Revit Structure, Revit Architecture and Robo Structure Analysis where you can learn, you know, these softwares from start to finish. I'm also adding some more and more you know, courses. So without wasting much of your time, let's go ahead and get started. So we'll start with the creation of the 3D bar. I'll leave this one the way it is. I'll go to this beam. So you see how we can use the extension. So the extension is called Naviate River Extension. So the first step is for you to simply click on the beam. Then you go to the extension from there and then just click on the beams. Okay. Now the extension will load and you see that it will be very fast for you to create, you know, your river. So once this opens, just make sure that under the geometry, you see that is a geometry that we have there. Then go to the next one called the stirrups. Okay. Then before you even start, you know, you know, changing the settings here, make sure that you go to file, then regional settings and make sure that you choose the region that you are using. For me, I'm use, I usually use UK or South African. So you can see from the databases, we have, you know, everything here, you know, in whatever region you are in the world, you are able to pick what you want. So I'll go ahead with the UK. You see that under the enforcement, I'm using that one, BS86. Uh, BS8666-2000, okay, the materials, those are the materials, the bots and the profiles. I'll just click on OK. So depending on the settings there, this is what you are going to be seeing here. So for the, for the, for the, I'm using the UK, but the, the, the database, I'm using the South African. That's how I'm able to see, you know, what I'm seeing here. Okay. So I'll start with the stirrups. I've selected the stirrups, the bars. I just want to use R8, okay? Then the hooks, I can simply click there and choose the hooks. The 135 degrees is okay for me. Also the number two hook, I'll select on it. Then under the stirrup type, you can pick the type that you want. For me, that's the type that I want. And you can see the cover from here. Under the cover, these covers that you are seeing here, you are able to set them within the settings within Revit, okay? So I'll just use the default cover of about 25 millimeters and go to the next one, the stirrup distribution, okay? Now you see from here that as you change this side and the other side from there, if I just click, it moves to the other one, just click there, it's right here. So I'll start with the span there, then once I do that, I simply need to go to the distribution type. I just want it to be uniform. You can pick this one if you want. If I change, you see how it changes from here. I'll just maintain the first distribution type, which is uniform in terms of the spacing. Then from here, you can see that the spacing, I just want to use the 200 there. Then from the edges, I just want to use a 50 millimeters, okay, for the stirrup from one edge to the, the edge of the column to the other, I mean to the beam. Okay, once I do that, just switch to the other, you know, span, as you can see from there. Then again here, make sure that you, you set the spacing. And then from here, you can see DL, we have it right here, and DR for these ones. Let me just put, a, first of all, let me go back here. You see that uh, DL and DR, we have 50, that's okay. Then I go to the next one, I'll just put the same one, the 50 millimeters. Okay, then the distribution, I'll still maintain the uniform one. Okay, 
and we have and we have 200 right there so i'm done with the stir ups i can go back and check what i said so i'm happy okay now if you want to go here under the left support if you want to add you know the left support al and you know sl you can but i'll just leave it the way it is go to the main bars again under the main bars just a matter of you that is the bottom the lower bar and that one is the top bar so from here I want to change this one to Y, no, I just want to have Y16, okay, for the lower bar and the top bar, I also want to have, maybe let me put Y12, now, make sure that you detail according to how you've designed the beam, okay, so once you do that, we have the bars there, the material, I'll leave it, the hooks, if I want, I can add, but I'll leave the hooks and none and just change the L1, and lb from here you have a and b a and b so for these i'm just going to have 100 millimeters then the next one 100 millimeters go to the other one and make sure that the number you put there for me i just want to have two bars then i'll go to the other one and put 100 there 100 there i'm done with this one the first you know the that is the lower and the upper bar okay so these bars are the main bars as you can see from here we have the top the lower and the upper so it's going to apply those bars you know on this beam from this one up to the end then i'll go to the additional top bars okay so here i'll just add some bars on top there as you can see from there i just need to have maybe a y12 okay then above the right support let me also add a y12 right there just like that okay so what you are seeing from here we have l okay so i just want to have a meter okay then this one i just want to have 100 once again okay then i just want to have a meter even on the other side then this one Actually, for this one, we have two sides on the left and the right. So I just have to put another 1,000 from the face of the column going this direction, the other direction. For this one, it's just one direction and you know that one for anchorage, okay? So once you do that, make sure that you go to the other span. I'll just you know, click there. This one is already set, so I simply need to go to this one and activate it at the end there. Y12 is okay. Then this one, I want it to be 100, and this one, I want it to be 1,000. Okay, that one there. So I'm not adding the additional bottom bars. If you want to add, you can simply come here and change. So I will not do any divisions because I know if I add this one plus this one, it's less than the stock length of my bars, which is 12 meters. So I'm not going to split the bars, okay? So once you do that, make sure that you just check, you counter check. The other thing I want to mention is that if you want to add, you know, that kind of, you know, reinforcement, you can do that. But in this case, it doesn't apply. So I'll leave it. So let me just check it once again and make sure that everything is okay. As you can see, I'm done with the settings here. And once you do that, make sure that you click on OK and simply wait, you know, the ribber will be created within there. And if I just, you can see the preview there i have the bars if i just click outside now i can simply select the bars like that then filter then check none structure river apply okay then i'll simply go back to visibility view visibility states and activate the view and uh, view and obscured and view a solid okay then click on okay click outside and you see that we have the bars right there so if i just try to orbit from here that is the center let me just place the center somewhere there and try to orbit you can see that we have the additional you know top bar there go on the other one we have the additional bar right there and you see that i'm just using the i just use the extension if i check the bars you can see that this is y16 as i specified the other one if i just select on it okay select on this one this is r8 now finally let me just give the color so that you just you know do something similar to this one you can just select that bar 
hold control select the other bar right click then override graphics in view by element just click there and solid click there if i want to pick the let me pick the green one to differentiate it apply okay click outside select that bar there also i'll simply select this one and hold control select that one right click override graphics in view by element let me change it to solid and the color let me just pick maybe that color there okay apply okay so you can go ahead i'll leave the other one with that color if you want you can go ahead and change so this is the way you create your 3d river on a beam okay using naviate river naviate river extension so once again if you like what i'm doing please make sure that you like the video it helps me a lot it also motivates me to do more and make sure that you subscribe if you haven't subscribed now this is part one make sure that you watch part two so that we can detail up to here as you can see right here so see you in the next video